things that they do, but they never do the things that they say. Yeah. I'm basically a contemporary live African artist doing my thing, basing them from traditional music from Kenya and then redoing them in my own modern way. Because music is dynamic, you go with the time. And that's why also I feel obliged to do a club song because we are the people. I mean, nobody's telling me what to do. I do what I want to do because that is who I am. I compose my own music. I dance. I sing. Uh, I play a variety of instruments from an uh, acoustic guitar I play the kalimba, which is a traditional thumb piano. I have two now. I have mbira and I have a kalimba. And I also I have different sets of music. Now I have been the nyatiti, which is very traditional luo. And so my music has like three categories. You know. so the guitar bass, to the nyatiti, to the kalimba bass. To actually, sometimes I come up with, uh, I'll say like, Acapella. So my motivations are based on my surrounding and, and the music that I listen to and, and the life that I'm living, you know. You're there always trying to make things work. You're there always people thinking, oh, you've made it, you know, and you yourself, you're the one who knows how it is. So it actually gives me a, a reason. Basically, I live, eat, sleep, play, you know, music. I love music, you know. I have a dream. I have a dream, I have a dream that I one day this tradition. I really love music and I, I really love listening to other sounds because that's the only way you get your motivation. But I want to live in a place like Kesawuni, in Bombolulu, you know. Sometimes, if it wasn't for security, I would rather even go and live in Line Saba, Kibera, because I know I'll come up with the best stories in such an area, Madare. But again, you're looking at because you're not brought up there, then you're scared of the security. But if I was brought up there, I would have rather lived there because, you know, when when you, when even like in Eastlands where I am, you know, you 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 are in a crowd and and people are talking, and sometimes I'm like, wow, I wish they knew what they have just given me. They've given me a whole story to deal with. You say I'm ugly, sir. But when it comes to the style of music that, that I'm working right now, is it's basically because I've been involved in many workshops with the Tabo Susa, with the, with the, with the um, I mean Kenya Music Week. Every year we have big, big and you know annual workshops, and I've really loved some of the, the 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 ideas that I've gotten from the Kenya Music Week by just you know talking from artist to artist. You know how do we bring traditional? How do we make the young people to like? the traditional music, how do we make the traditional music to, to, to come into, because it has to be within time. We need to stamp our foot down and say this is East Africa, this is Kenya, this is Makadem, you know, an identity. So we cannot abandon the club scene for the young Kenyans who hardly know their route. We need to show them the way. That's how I see it. She tells me I'm gonna give to men what mama she gave to me. So the more she hit the road. Sometimes people really don't understand my music because Kenyans are not used to listening. Kenyans like going with the beat. But if you listen to some of my songs, you they're comical facts. You really laugh. Uh, if, if you look at Mugolokiman's where I talk, my grandmother uh, knew that I'm I'm not just a Mugoloki man, because my father used to sit in the Njuri Cheke Council. My grandmother, she knows I'm not just a Mugolo Kimani. When I was born, my father, he sat on the Njuri Cheke Council. Those were days when men were men and the women knew their place. That is why my mother, she walks tall, she gave our people a baby boy. Now you can imagine, I am Luo, but why am I bringing my father big sitting in the Njuri Cheke Council? It's about Kenyanizing us. So it's not about me being Luo, as much as I've used, used myself, but I'm Kenyanizing me. So my grandmother knows I'm not a Mugoloki man, which is a Kikuyu word, Mugoloki. 
and my, because my dad used to sit in the Njuri Sheke Council, which is Meru. So. Ale, ale. On the forefront of those who are actually trying to make sure that our artists when they go out there because they want to compete regionally for awards and I'm on the forefront of telling them and I'm not afraid of telling them again and again that unless you incorporate traditional in and in, in the club in the way you're doing your commercial music there are no awards that will come down here because for us to go out there regionally or internationally to compete, there must be something unique about us. We cannot go with something that they already have. However good you are, they will block you for their own people. Even because most people say you can't beat them. I always disagree with that. I tend to believe we can beat them, but they will block you. It's like having a, uh, uh, I don't know if you say somebody from Zambia coming here to do Mogidi. Or a hangler. I mean, it, not, it might not be very easy for those two communities to accept that that guy has come here to do Mogidi or to do a hangler in his language. You know, they'll just, you know. It, so we have to sell us. We have the music. It's about just getting down and doing it. And that's why one of the things, apart from them, going down to to research on the traditional music that they want to work with doing that music and then by the time they do their own it will be urban two they have to learn from the instruments or use the instruments in a modern first do the traditional then bring it modernly three our djs must learn to be producers and sound engineers that's the only way they will help the artist no, no, no. One of the things that I don't like in Kenya that is so funny is you go to a school and they're playing club music during the school open day. That is wrong. You know, club music should be left to the club. We should be having some slow music for the matatu, club music, some good music for young people. There should be artists doing that. You know, you can do music for schools. You can, like gospel. You see, even gospel has been too forced to twist to a point that they, are, they, they run out of their mind. Whatever they're doing now is, in my view, is, is not gospel anymore. It's just twisting words. You know, it's like sometimes I always say they think <laughs> they, they think they're a club artist. Then they, they edit the words, and I don't. And I would love to be quoted that I said that because it's it's funny. The children are playing, the birds are singing. If there be love, there there be peace, there there be harmony. You know, I've been around, I always say I'm an old dog, you know, Chuma Yazamani, an old metal. And uh, I've been around, so I actually tend to, to agree with me that I know what is going on. And since I've been, for a long time, for the last 10 years, I've been coming up with my own style into the contemporary African music. But I reached a point where I realized that I think it's also good to to, 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 to go with with uh, with, uh, with what is popular so you, 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 I don't have to be there in like 24 7 like a commercial artist I don't want to be a commercial artist but it's good to to go with the trend as well you know you you, you, you put up something there that and people can oh that's so and so and then you keep your thing live this <laughs> Oh, 